All right, welcome back to part two. Nothing exactly changed. I'm in my ship. Hey, it's always a good day when you come around. Corvette. All oh, little ship I built. Guys are looking a bit funky. Not gonna lie. But where are we? Oh, oh, so there's Varunkai. Okay. So it seems like there's only one. Nice. They really get that unlucky? I don't know, this one here. There's a moon here, maybe. We'll, we'll check these out later. Alright. What if we zoom out more? Okay, so... Interesting. So it exists. Let's go to Varunkai. Alright, we got Dazra. The Grol Dagger is carried by all members. It's used to clear, right? I'm passing out all the daggers used to draw all ones on blood. Oh, that's a big ship to the left. Looks like the ship is using Deimos parts. They're probably like, who the fuck are you? Oh my god, that is a house for room. No, that's a Deimos vessel. Right, let's exit. Hold very still and choose your words carefully. They will determine how long you live. Please, we are not a threat. We are trying to help. You have no right to be here. You will tell me how you found this place. There was an accident. I was responding to a distress call. No signal should have left this system. Mm, but the Oracle was lost. Something clearly went wrong. I'm afraid there were no survivors. I've never seen a station. With, I'm afraid there's no survivors. Ah, we had feared there's much, but it is good to know for certain. Boris, I think we need not fear our guest. Perhaps in this time of need, the Great Serpent has delivered us a gift. Counselor, with due respect, we have not had unannounced visitors here in generations. It is a clear breach of security. I do not disagree, and I know that security, in whatever small form we can grasp it, is of paramount importance. But you must acknowledge the timing is... curious. And perhaps our guest's intent should be determined before we take further action. I am here to pledge loyalty to House Faroon. Shit, okay. Okay, we're going with it. Are you now? Most curious indeed. I am afraid that, not having been born of House Varun, that may prove a complicated matter. Great Serpent! What's happening again? Hear me! Speaker, we are here! We have reached out to you to, to seek guidance in our hour of need. The gate in the Citadel has been opened. Just to seek you. What is this? Have I failed you? What is this place? Where am I? Why do you not show yourself? I strive only to follow your command. All must serve. Please, do not leave me in darkness. Great Serpent, is, is that you? Is it your presence, I feel? Why can he see me? I, I feel something, yet I see nothing. Is this a test? What do you require of me? Can you see me? Great Serpent. I have done all that I can. The scaled citadel itself has been transformed to petition you. I know that all must serve, but I need more. I require guidance. Take pity on us and reveal the way forward. 
Does that always happen? Like, randomly talk to newcomers? Our leader, Anasko Varun, he has appeared like this over and over. So many of our people have been trapped in this state, these vortex phantoms. But usually they are hostile and lash out. Anasko is different. If only we could hear his voice, some reassurance that all is not lost. He seems... he doesn't seem to be able to see us. What do you mean? Despite the sightings, none have heard the word from Anasko in all this time, yet you claim to. What? Do not toy with me. Not about this. If you speak truth, you must prove it. What did he say? He was trying to contact the Great Serpent, but something is wrong. Something about us. He was trying to contact. He's trying to contact the Great Serpent, but something is wrong. He sounds lost. I, the Serpent. I heard nothing. He said that? Oh, God, I'm the Great Serpent. It is no joke. The experiment was a secret, even to many of our own people. Truly, you did hear an Asko. You have been chosen. I am the Serpent born. Uh, ignore my retarded spacesuit. People of House Varun, hear me! We have asked the Great Serpent for deliverance from our calamity, and he has answered us. This outsider has been chosen as the most unlikely vessel for the Great Serpent's divine provenance, and he will help save us all. Outsider, please. There is no denying you have been sent here as a sign. You must help us. But there are... Uh, there are precepts that must be followed, principles that must be obeyed. Even in these dire circumstances, we cannot turn from Jinan Varun's teachings. You will be granted safe passage through Dazra and the lands beyond. No harm will come to you, and that you have my word. You even have my assurance that your uh, compatriot here will also remain unharmed. But to truly aid us, you must become part of House Varun. This is not a thing done lightly, and it cannot be taken back. Will you commit to helping us by becoming one of the promised? All right, tell me where to begin. Excellent. Please, come with me. Forgive me for not introducing myself. I am Malibor Dulkef, a member of the High Council of House Varun. I have been asked to represent the Council in this moment. Please, enter our city. You have my word that you will not be harmed. I would ask that until you have become promised, you avoid the citizens of Dasra. I love the armor, my guy. Phenomenal to armor. 10 out of 10 armor. Open the gate. I have no patience for us. I will not reveal to now. Surely you saw the scaled citadel as you arrived. It was the center of an explosion of sorts that has annihilated most of our city. We have lost many of our brothers and sisters. Still you have a Asia. bank? Counselor, what is the meaning of this? Is there a problem, Makula? This city is in shambles. The speaker is missing, and here you are leading some outsider through our sacred space? Why allow this husk to defile our city? Have we not lost enough? Have faith. I believe this outsider was guided here by the Great Serpent himself. And soon, Serpent will it. They will be one of us. Love the boots. But I can be sure and pass your concerns on to the rest of the High Council, if you wish. I apologize for the interruption. There is a ritual intended for converts to the Promised. 
that has not been performed in generations. We are fortunate that there are those still alive who remember the old ways and remain prepared for such a moment as this. If you have been sent to us, then I, I hope you can help. This is so cool. Like after playing Starfield and like kind of learning all that there is to learn. It's amazing seeing something completely new and alien. Harold Inaza. I suspected we might find you here waiting. I saw the ship landing. I knew immediately that I would be needed. Indeed you are. This is Inaza Kaisia, Herald of the Serpent. She will guide you through the ritual. Okay, boss. I am needed elsewhere, but I assure you that you are in good hands. Hello, Inaza. So, the Great Serpent sends you to me? He has. Hmm. There is something about you. No husk that walked the Serpent's path. To enter this sacred cave, there is no turning back. You will be forever changed. This is a path you must walk of your own free will, alone. Will you step forward and emerge anointed, one of the promised? I've been waiting for this moment my entire life. Hmm. An unusual but welcome response. Then let us enter, and I shall guide you along the serpent's path. But this is a journey you must undertake alone. Your escort cannot follow. This is a profound step for you. Do not worry. You have nothing to fear. The path lies before you. But it is up to you to walk it. So, see, I'm kind of confused because he said Andresia is not allowed in here. But Andresia is born of House Verone. I don't know if it's like an oversight. I will await you at the end of the Serpent's Path. What is this cave? It has served more than one purpose for our people over the generations. For a brief time, it was owned. But then, in his wisdom, Jinan Varun saw fit to turn it into a way for those outside House Varun to begin to learn, to join us in following the Great Serpent. That ended after the Serpent's Crusade. It feels right to see it used again now, in our time of need. Right. What can, can you tell me more about House Varun? The Serpent's Path will tell you what you need to know for now. After that, the council awaits. After that, I will be at the temple as I always am. And I will offer counsel as I would to any of the promised. You're a herald? I am. I carry on the traditions that Jinan Varun began and maintain our people's connection to the Great Serpent. I and others like me look after the temples and offer guidance to those who need it. And now, it seems I am called upon to help the Serpent's Call fill a new vessel. Truly, I am blessed. Why has no one been converted in so long? A difficult question. The original converts were accepted in the years after House Varun first made contact with the settled systems. Once the Serpent's Crusade began, there were fears that anyone from the outside could be spies, infiltrators. And after the crusade, few were eager to join. When Jinan Varun's son, Jarek, took power, we pulled back, rejected contact with non-believers. We removed any avenues for converts to find us. But there were those among us who hoped that one day, we might help others see the light of the Great Serpent's teachings. 
And if we can survive our current situation, your presence here now might sway opinions on future converts. All right, let's go. Let the great serpent forever guide. Oh, she coming with me. You must walk the paths. Oh. I am merely here to guide you along your... Get the fuck out of the way then. I loaded in, I heard the, the signature Skyrim. Before House Skyrim, there were humans. First on Earth, then scattered among the stars. And like all humans, they were lost souls, wandering in the dark, looking for a path. All right. These are like altar. One particular colony sheep housed several hundred of these souls. They were each alone and isolated. Individual tiny flames that could be snuffed out at a moment's notice. Oh, ow. What did that do? Talk with Andresia. Uh oh. You just piss her off? But she now comes of a great servant and was given the gift of knowledge. He shared his knowledge with those around him and lit the way for them. I don't want to jump down there, but we'll get down in a minute. We're gonna blow another candle. Yeah. They followed his guidance and his light, and they cast aside the burdens of their former lives. And thus, House Maroon was born. Now you too have the chance to cast aside your burdens, to relieve yourself of anything that holds you back. Can I blow out another candle? I have to slide my burdens. Sack. Oh. Okay. What am I? All right, we're gonna sacrifice this fucking god awful helmet. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Oh, that's an alien looking creature. Junon Varu, I need to practice my, uh, my, um, uh, I mean, my, I was gonna say my Kichichi. I am, I am Crimson Mag. People's hopes and fears and dreams were entrusted to the Great Serpent. They made the leap of faith that brought House Varun to greatness. You may now follow in their footsteps and take that same leap. Embrace the great serpent, and he will embrace you. Make a leap of faith. Do I jump in? Huh? All right. Okay. I'm assuming. I'm very much assuming I was supposed to get across there. Give me a minute. Hey, I made a Ooh, the obelisks and like statue. Oh, that's a cool statue. Like a snake. The snake. Oh, 
I'm assuming if you were to not make the jump, you just walk this side. What's up here? Ooh, positron battery. The people of House Baron settled this world. At first, in these very caves, Shinan Barun himself slept among them in these shelters. It was here that he spread the word of the serpent. It was here that the people of House Arun first understood the truth of their place in the universe. Realized I, um, I don't have a flashlight now because I threw away my helmet. I know I have it. Is the kitchen of House Faroon? Is really cool. And it was here that the people of House Faroon first understood the truth of the shrouding. The great serpent's return. He will encircle the universe he created, and all those who do not follow will be cast into shadow. And the people weighed this knowledge against their former lives, and saw how they had been blessed despite the difficulties in life that awaited them. You too would do well to feel that solace amidst the pain. Contemplate the shrouding. Alright, so here's the question, right? At what point does, like, House the Great Serpent tell us to brutally murder everyone? Because I don't know I can get behind that one. Personally, well, it depends on who we're brutally murdering, if I'm being completely honest. Hey, sure, I can, I'll murder all day. Alright, very nice. Assuming by the Great Shrouding. Here. Do I... Oh. Am I being baptized? I'm being baptized. Oh, meditate on the water. Uh oh. What was I supposed to? I don't know what I was supposed to do. Right, what is this? Is this, this house ruins first house? Uh, the humble quarters of the first settlement or is it speaker? Okay. Your genes are right. Oh, there's a. Alright, we have to open this because there's 100% gonna be here. I'm gonna pause while I open it. Alright. What do we get? Alright, well. There was ammo for this outset. A portable CD player? Oh, hell yeah! I'm assuming... I don't know. I'm assuming... Very nice. Your bathroom. Make rock. This light. I was kind of hoping that there would have been like a weapon like, like Jin and Varun's pistol. Although the fact that there was 45 ACP on the side makes me think that they intended on there to be a pistol inside there. Anyway, let's continue on our journey. Until that day comes, we are the voice and the hands of the Great Serpent. Our every act a sacrifice to hasten his return. Make now a sacrifice to prove your devotion. And remember, whether in life or in death, all must serve. Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit! All right, we're killing him. Listen, listen, bud. Listen, I'm really sorry. We're gonna make this as painless as possible. What do you think hurts less? All right, I'm gonna straight through the straight through the head. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm so sorry. happens if you don't do 
Let us begin the final bridge. Oh, oh, see. While none since Jinan and Verum have stood before the great servant, we can all feel his presence. And strength? To solidify his bond, you are presented with a simple choice. Before you on this day are several items. They represent the different aspects of House Verum's connection to the great servant. Pick the two that call to you. Place them on the altars. Offerings to the great serpent that he may fill you with his spirit and make you promise. So, I'm gonna go devotion and perseverance. Place devotion. I wonder will this give us like unique buffs? Can we speak for a moment? Wait a minute. Hi. And so you arise, one of the promised of House Verun. Did you feel the great serpent working within you? Do you feel born anew? There is more than one way to feel born anew, trust me. I knew there'd be great serpent. Yes, your confidence is impressive. Devotion to the great serpent and perseverance to remain devoted, no matter the circumstances, will always reveal a path forward. Just reference the two ones I picked house, up. Varun. I grant you the title of Diviner. All will know you. All will trust you. Above us, in the Grand Ship Morning, jewel of the Varun fleet, the High Council awaits your arrival. Serve them. Serve the Great Serpent. All must serve. All must serve. Right, so I get like a buff. Alright, so I'm 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 guessing like we'll, we'll we'll probably find out later, but like I'm assuming they will play in. Why do you speak to Andrea? Yo. It has been a relief to be honest with you about my uh, this is... I appreciate your Alright, so there's a this is just Andresia doing her usual talk. But she did her line about how like um how she liked, you know, she met people and she worked alongside them, she liked them, but they weren't promised. And I have a dialogue here now that says there was a time when I wasn't promised. I'm not so bad. We're around for sure. Yes, I have found that to be true. It was and is still a surprise. You must understand. I was raised to believe that those who do not follow the Great Serpent do not matter. For they are lost. Their fate is fixed and grim. And yet here were these men and women with... Hopes and dreams, delights and aversions. It felt like a small betrayal of my people, of House Varun, but I cared for my friends. And then I lost them. Breezy losing a friend. It's not something I have much experience with. It was so sudden. We had met on a remote planet. Oh, yeah, so this is this is her uh, dialogue. And zealots appeared in force from her just seemingly base out of quest. There was barely time to react. So many were cut down immediately. I believe my years of training saved me, got me moving when others faltered. I retreated to my ship immediately, but I left them all behind. Aaron Bascom and Jada Wong. They were my friends, and I abandoned them. And in the years since, I have never looked for them. Were they blaming for leaving them? No, maybe. I, I yeah, this is all vanilla. 
it all except that dialogue so fast, option and i've had so much time since then to replay it in my head wonder if i should have done things differently in my time getting to know you i have thought more and more of all this how little sense it all made how i never really knew what happened or what became of my friends my connection to you has reminded me what it means to trust someone to be there for them and i can no longer live with not knowing i need to finally pursue this i would okay thank you that all is... right so we're i am not okay right so that's basically yeah that's that quest line i just thought it was interesting if there was like a unique dialogue we're not gonna worry about that for now because we've got a dlc to do Was there a point in time when House Faroon when it wasn't? Oh, there is a new pistol! Quick strike. This is a rare laser pistol. So, something I'm noticing here now, um, and this is just me, so there are some slight similarities between like certain decks. Like, this looks a bit like the Solstice. Which initially I was like, oh, Bethesda, like, they're kind of reusing assets. But then the more I think about it, it would make sense for, like, certain technology to be, like, taken and, like, reverse engineered and kind of made different. Um, like, the, for instance, the guard's armor, which you'll see. They look like they're wearing the, uh, the gear from... Ooh. They look like they're wearing the gear from, um... From what is what is it called the like the operator armor warning ship cockpit oh yeah this is demos hello there i am uh i am the great serpent good to see you hi welcome diviner you stand before what remains of the High Council, advisors to Nasco Varun. We are all that is left after the disaster that has befallen our people. I represent House Dulkev. Jamal is from House Kadik, and we are joined by Lovek of House Vital. We are all of us hopeful that your arrival in Dazra and your clear connection to Nasco Varun. For the first time in weeks, represent some semblance of hope. Someone needs to start exploring. I don't have a connection to Anos Ravun or anyone here. What are the houses? What are with all the houses? Aren't you all House Faroon? Collectively, we unite under the banner of House Faroon, pledged to follow Jinan Varun and his descendants. But our society is not a monolith. Jinan, in his wisdom, shepherded the first of us into families that we might grow and prosper. Our three families have for generations now helped to govern the people of House Varun and offer counsel to our leader. You don't have a connection to them. But you do. We have only seen brief glimpses of him since the incident. But you heard him speak. How can that be taken as anything other than providence? Please, just allow us a moment to explain. Okay. By all means, Malabor. I can't wait to see how you spend this. Please, can we just for a moment... Can we just for a moment what? Discuss whether or not to allow the first convert to House Varun since before any of us were born? bit late on that, it seems. You were not there. You did not see Anasco. It felt different. We have already wasted so much time. You're correct. I was not there. Because you elected to travel to the spaceport on your own. And then decided this on your own. Do not waste time with more bickering. Anasco, and by extension House Varun, suffers with every passing moment. Of course, Lovek. My apologies. Please, Malibor. Do go on. 
Nazgul Varun, like his father before him, has relied on the teachings of Jinan to guide us. Anasko wondered if perhaps it was time to seek guidance directly from the Great Serpent. And so sought a means of reaching out. Excuse me. Perhaps he found the teachings inadequate. Careful, Katik. You tread on dangerous ground. I mean nothing by it. We simply were never consulted on the matter and do not know the full motive. The point is that a series of experiments have taken place over the years. Utilizing grav drive technology to hopefully make direct contact with the Great Serpent, similar to Jinan Varun's initial meeting. And then something went wrong. We do not know what happened. We were not inside the scale citadel at the time. Had we been, we wouldn't be standing here now. We'd be like the rest of them. A great tide of energy emanated from the scaled citadel and swept across Dasra. Much was destroyed in its wake. Those caught in the blast have been left in a state of confusion, trapped halfway between our universe and the vortex. The citadel itself remains in such a state, right there and yet beyond our reach. We can only assume that the experiment is still running, somehow preventing us from entering the citadel. Okay. <clears throat> we cannot get in, so we cannot stop it. We were beginning to lose hope before you arrived. The Vortex, what is that? Forgive me, I am no scientist, but as it has been explained to me, what we call the Vortex is the, uh, the space between universes. How long ago did this happen? It has only been a few weeks. There had been efforts to put together some kind of response, some plan. But uh, they had fallen apart. Tell me how I fit into this. Your arrival and your interaction with Anasco shows that he can still be saved. A plan had been devised to access the Citadel, but the work stalled. Clearly, it is time to move forward with it. The current head of our science team, Ekris, should be in Jinan Plaza down below us, towards the Citadel. Tell him about your experience with Anasco, and that work on the morning device must proceed. Alright, Bass. Can I talk to you guys for you would speak Did you need me? something? Tell me more about Anasco Varun. He has led House Varun since the death of his father Jarek. He was, uh, is, determined to return House Varun to glory. He believed he was on the cusp of realizing that goal, and now, well, you have seen him. I should perhaps not speak too much of it, but there has been concern that he was lost to us. Your interaction with him gives me hope. If you can hear him, he is not beyond rescue. How long have you been in the High Council? <clears throat> not long, though it feels like an eternity. Jamal and I had only been a part of the Council for maybe a year before all this, and we were only ever in subordinate roles. It has been quite a challenge to accept this new level of responsibility. Lovek, on the other hand, has served on the Council for quite a long time. He rarely lets us forget it. I should be speaking to him, then. What exactly does the High Council do? Any decision about House Varun is the speakers to make. But Jinan Varun, in his wisdom, saw fit to create the High Council to help advise those decisions. We offer perspectives and opinions that can often contradict one another, which can ultimately help the speaker to guide our people. Or, at least, that is how it was before all this. Now, with the speaker gone, we have temporarily taken over making decisions in his stead. Once this is all behind us, we can restore the intended order of things. What separates you from the Zealots all over the South System? That depends a great deal on who you ask. 
Generations ago, we made a decision to pull back from the settled systems. Some amongst us saw that as a mistake, an abandonment of House Varun's true calling. The schism within our people grew until some took it upon themselves to leave and declare themselves the true descendants of Jinan Varun. They are, of course, uh, factually wrong and incredibly misguided. It says who? Okay, cool. Hello, big man. Yes? Did you require something? Oh, uh, I need to, well, I'd like to look at you. Hello? What may I do for you? What were you exp what where were you when the experiments went wrong? I was outside the city, visiting a friend at his farm. We saw the flesh of light from inside, and by the time we made it outside, uh, you know, in that moment, I worried it was my fault, that I had somehow not been faithful enough, that I had not believed. I still find myself worrying that we are being punished, that we have affronted the Great Serpent in some way, and that this is our penance. Do you know Sirach Fal? Did you know Sirach? Indeed, Sirach was my cousin. Sorry for loss. I know they were assigned to the Oracle, and Malabar relayed their final report sent by the station. They walk with the Great Serpent now. Can you tell me more about Serac? Serac was a respected scientist, dedicated to the Great Serpent. They spent every moment engrossed in their work, a true testament of faith. It was their greatest honor to be selected for the Oracle. What will become of the Oracle now? The Oracle's fate will be tabled for a future discussion. Valid? We have more important issues. Very valid. Again. Why am I asking that question? Uh, how many people were stationed on it? Eighty-seven souls oh reside God. at the Great Serpent now. Many were some of the finest scientific minds House Varun had to offer. They will be remembered alongside those we lost here in Dasra. That was a question. Of course. I think cool. What was Dasra like for the experiment? Oh, it was breathtaking. A true testament to the will of Jinan Varun and our faith in the Great Serpent. To have started from nothing, and to have accomplished so much. I pray to the Serpent that we can someday reclaim all that we have lost. Okay. So this guy is basically, seems like he's like an OG. Well, he is an OG. This guy kind of seems in the middle. This one, she seems like she mm -hmm. kind of... Something I can do for you? ...believes more about, like, the newer stuff. We'll talk. Hello. Yes? Uh, so the High Council runs House Rune under Rune the House under Rune. No, it's complicated. I saw slash. I shut up. Jinan Varun himself established the rules. Let me see if I can make it easy for you. Excuse me. The Speaker has supreme authority. He is the voice of the Great Serpent. The houses each handle some function of daily life and are individually run by the Elder of the House. Each of the houses also appoints a mediary to the High Council to inform and advise the Speaker. It's a separate position from the Elder, with a lesser degree of authority and prestige. Got it. Makes sense. Makes sense. What about changing the system? She's going to be like, heretic! Now is hardly the time to be entertaining such thoughts. Fair. Fair. Got it. Makes sense. So you must have a head for politics. Or you're good at pretending. Either way, you will fit right in here. You seem unhappy I was allowed to become part of House for Room. Don't take it personally. We have been through so much these last few weeks. The Council is attempting to claw back some semblance of order from the chaos. Steer things past this somehow. And then Malibor goes and throws you into the middle of all this without even consulting us. It's just one more breach of a protocol that barely exists anymore. I am over it, I assure you. It is good to have you with us, and we are finally moving forward. Power grab on you? All right, thanks. Great Serpent, keep you. Great Serpent, yeah, keep you, yep. All right, so this is actually really cool. 
All right, great serpent keep you. Uh, thank you. We're leaving. All right, I know they're like, yo, you need to like save the world, please. But I'm like, no, we're fighting the ship master. You know the scientists out at Hamadi Station. The old married couple, uh, Azad and Shireen, if I remember right. I've met them a few times. They seemed a little eccentric, but were otherwise quite nice. That's them, yes. They're apparently looking for some help with their research. They made some kind of discovery that has them troubled. Good luck finding help at a time like a this. Turret? Indeed. Yet the serpent provides for the faithful, so who knows? Nothing is truly impossible. Right. Nice. Head back. Eh? Eh? Not the way I need to go. So, who's a gun shop there? Keep armory. Alright, let's. Room depository, Corvette. Is this. Hello, t shirt? Oh. Damn it. Is it fucking broken? Alright, it might be broken. you see anything useful? Oh. Don't break my legs. Look over the... The shipwright. Who are you? Yo. I am watching you. Yo. What the hell? That is some Yeah, shipwreck. we bought one. It has been too long since I've tinkered with a ship from the settled systems. That's right, the experience working with ship manufacturing the settled system. Well, I uh, had a privileged upbringing that allowed me to hone my skills on all sorts of different ships. You sell ships. So, if you need anything for your ship, just let me know. Sell ships? Oh. Okay. I'm really excited. So, I'm really hoping if I click that, right? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. We're gonna Composure, crimson composure. All right, so you're knowledgeable about ships. Mm. About that. My father was a technician far outside of Dasara. Growing up, I would help him repair or strip all of the ships that were being delivered to him. Delivered by zealots. The ships were incredible. Deimos, Strat Eklund, even Hope Tech. It was so exciting to work on them, but now I just feel dirty. Knowing where those ships came from, what had to be done to acquire them. When I grew older, I came to my senses, grew a conscience, and abandoned my father. I think the great serpent that I managed to avoid that life. Must have been a hard choice. Are all settled system ships delivered by salt? Oh, no. Not in Dazra, at least. From time to time, our connections are able to deliver an outsider ship. They are very rare, though. The times I get to work on one are very few and far between. Must be a hard choice. I'm glad it worked out for you. Thank you. It is moments like these that I know I made the right choice. Uh, what was the last time an outsider said foot in Dazra? I have no idea. It has happened before, but well before my time. Your arrival here was shocking, to say the least. <laughs> Hope something catches your eye. Oh. Oh, really? 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 How may I help? I can help with that. All right. Well, well, that was sad. All right, so looks like no new, no new ship parts. Yes, I will say I am hopeful that at some point we might unlock. Like, hmm. 
Ah, well. Um, Alright, let's... Dunks is over there. Alright, let's head to a bounce. Bounce. Healing. Oh, there's a house for sale. Good. Let's... Let's head to where we need to go. Like, that's, I will say, that's, like, slightly saddening now, obviously. This actually... It's broke, isn't it? Fuck. Oh, is this now there? Oh. Bad. Um. So. Molly, we cannot explore the big crater. Why not? That's where all the houses and stuff used to be. Maybe we can find some things down there. That's dangerous, Ivali. We would break our necks just getting down there. Well, I don't want to play hide and seek anymore. Alana's in a bad mood and he always ruins it. I do not! Uh. Alright. So, keep. What I was going to say is, um, like, I really hope there's ship parts, basically, I, I guess, what I would like to say. Hi. The scale of the disaster is hard to accept. Goods exchange. Oh, no, shame at it. no shame at all. Not the argument. What you have done goes beyond disgrace. It is morbid, disgusting. You should be hanging your head in shame. But instead, here you are, acting like a common fool. What? What do you want? What's going on here? Uh, what's going on here? This does not concern you. <laughs> Please accept my apologies. I caught my brother attempting to do something unspeakable. And I could not contain my anger. Oh, yes, go on. Invite a total stranger into our family squabbles. This is no squabble, you pompous fool. What you have done today is abhorrent. What do you do? I can forgive stealing my money. Or pawning my valuables. What I cannot abide, however, is you attempting to sell Mother's urn with her remains still within. I have done many things I am not proud of, but I have never stooped as low as that. Yeah, what the fuck? That is awful. I was drunk, I did not know. All of those vases appeared the same. It is an urn, not a vase, you ignoramus. And you were the one who chose it when Mother passed away. I am tired of your shamelessness. And I am done bearing what should be your indignity. Do you hear me? I am done. You have gone too far this time, Manila. And I cannot bear the humiliation of being your brother any longer. I challenge you to a duel. Danica shall be my second. What? Are you mad? Borhal, are... are you sure? There is already so much death in this city. What good would this do? There has to be another way. Too late, Danica. He has issued his challenge. I accept. I, in fact, look forward to it. You. You shall be my second. Eh. Uh, there's some other way we can resolve this. No, I believe we have just passed the point of no return. I'd explain the ropes. I would to... not have proposed the duel unless I were fully committed to it. I am well past the point of compromising. Okay, I'll need somebody to show me the ropes. Then it is settled. Outsider. You will work alongside Danica to prepare for the duel. As for you, Amila, enjoy these last few moments. For when we next meet, your shameful life ends. <laughs> Do not sound so confident, brother. Oh, yes. Your family home is this way. Give me it the is not far. We can discuss the matters done. there. You will be working with me. As seconds, it is our duty to prepare for the duel, and ensure fairness. 
I am sorry that you have found yourself in this situation. But know that you are doing Amila a great favor. He truly has no one else who will be willing to do this for him. He has burned every bridge imaginable. It seems that after years of suffering Amila's embarrassments, Borhal has reached the boiling point. But still, to challenge your brother to a duel. I pray that we will be able to work towards a peaceful resolution before it's too late. I pray that the Great Serpent will deliver us from our hardship soon. Alright, see, here's the problem. I got you your favorite from me. Perhaps it is not so where you are from, but we demand law and order here. Remember that. Yeah, damn it, Samila. I cannot wait to be rid of But, like, here's the thing. I feel bad for the that guy. Yo, I'm 100% rigging this fight up here. Oh, that's a nice house. Okay. Do not let Amila break you down. Alright, so also really randomly. So they're everywhere we are in here. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Up, 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 up. So an off topic. Oh, shutters. This is it. Shall we begin our duties? We can. Are you ready to discuss our roles? Oh, sure. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm serious, right? This isn't going to be an actual duel. Oh, they are deadly serious. Borhal would have not dared to challenge Amila if not. The Aldlum family has held duels in the past. It is something of a family tradition. I'm ready. Wait, they held duels before? Yes. There was a duel between their two great-grandfathers, I believe. From what Borhal has told me, it began as a property There's dispute. two great-grandfathers? Their uncle died in a duel after being challenged by their grandfather. He was accused of stealing family heirlooms. History, it seems, repeats itself. Family has an unfortunate and violent history. Yes, and it seems that the cycle will continue. Unless you are able to get the brothers to agree to a Peaceful I resolution. can do that. All right, I'm ready to get started. Very good. Let us begin. Your primary duty as Amila's second is to work with the brothers and see if a peaceful conclusion is possible. Namely, if Amila apologizes to Borhol and he accepts, the duel may not move forward. As for me, I will be procuring the weapons for the duel and the materials for the preceding ceremony. Borhol as challenger reserves the right to choose the weapons, and he has chosen blades. Do you have any concerns? From what I've heard, Am Amelia is a drunkard. He doesn't stand a chance against Borhol. Hmm. I will note your concern, but know that Borhol has the final say. If that is all, we will break here and see to our duties. All right. Before that, though. I know that this duel is foolish. I am sorry you got pulled into this. I will try and find another peaceful solution to this problem. Should you be unsuccessful in convincing them to call it off? Uh, wait. Warhol has the right to... Amila has the right to anything? Amila has the right to deliver a genuine apology to Borhol and stop this duel before it commences. The odds of him doing so, however, are low. The Odlum brothers, like their ancestors, are stubborn and prideful. Are duels common in Varun culture? Duels were quite common a hundred years ago, but have become more rare with each passing generation. At this point, the Odlum family is the only one that still takes part in this custom. Alright, let's get going. Report back to me when you have spoken with the brothers. We will discuss your secondary duty then. All right. Well, I'm gonna kid me. Hot beef. <laughs> Yo, drunker! Fucking apologize. Oh. Hmm? Yes. The fuck are you? 
Oh, whoops, wrong quest. I'll be back. Hey, idiot. Oh, yeah. ah, look who it is. Oh, yeah. I will not waste your time. I already know what you have come to ask. You wish to inquire if there is any possibility of me apologizing to my brother. The answer is no. The duel shall go forward as planned. Your apology doesn't have to be. You seem eager to die. Why are you so sure that I will die? I have been in plenty of scraps on the streets, and I am not some sheltered pushover. Nothing good will come from this duel. What are you trying to prove? You cannot just turn your back on family like Borhal has done to me. You sold your mother's and now he wants dead. to kill me. If he wins, I hope the guilt of what he has done will rot him from the inside out. And if I win, it is justice. All you have to do is apologize. Why is that so difficult? He is trying to kill me. Why should I be the one to apologize? Borhal likes to paint me as a ne'er-do-well, but what type of psychopath wants to kill their own brother? It is not fair. He should be the one begging for my forgiveness. I'll ask you some more personal questions. Ah, oh, fine. But do try to be brief. I would prefer to be alone so that I may enjoy what could very well be my final moments alive. Uh, all this led... What led to this divide between you and your brother? I do not know. Perhaps him challenging me to a duel has something oh to do with it. Oh my god, this guy's an idiot. Why do you refuse to apologize? Do I have something to apologize for? Yes. Uh, as your second, you need to open up to me. You aren't giving me real answers. Correct. You are my second, not my acquaintance. I do not wish to speak of these things with you. Empath. I can sense a deep sadness in you. Do you really want to face the end with... The end of your life with this heaviness in your heart? Huh. No one has ever said anything like that to me before. Or ever cared enough to do so, at least. Go on. Ask your questions again. You really think you can kill? Aren't you scared of dying? Look at me. Really look at me. Do I appear to be someone that has much to live for? If I die, I die. Nothing to be scared of. Except giving Borhal the satisfaction of taking my life. Honest, do you want to die? Maybe it would be better to be dead. There is not much to live for, is there? Especially nowadays. I am not sure that I want to die, but I am growing tired of living. Sometimes it feels like my life has run its course. But I am not just going to let Borhal end me. I cannot give him that satisfaction. Do you really think you can kill him? As in, am I physically capable? Uh, perhaps, if the Great Serpent wills it. Am I mentally capable? I believe so. I have never felt this fury within me before. Why do you refuse to apologize? Because I am furious! My own brother, I just... I cannot make sense of it! Who would challenge their own flesh and blood to a duel? Damn him! Damn him for putting me in this position! Damn him because I know even if I were to apologize, ending this duel before it starts, I will always see someone who would rather me dead when I look at his face! God damn, this guy's voice acting is... I know, like, you know, it's Bethesda, but really good emotion. What led you to the divide? I had a wife once. Oh! I'm not going to flatter myself and pretend that I was a good husband, but... I loved her. And she loved me. Appreciated me. Faults and all. I, I never felt like I had to prove anything to her when I say to you that she was my world my everything <laughs> I am serious 
She was. She was perfect. And somehow, she loved something like me. It was like living in a dream every day. Nearly a decade ago, she and I shared a perfect night. In what I had believed would be a lifetime of perfect nights. But when I kissed her cheek in the morning, my lips froze. She was cold. Stone cold. After my beloved's death, I made one bad decision after another. To Borhal's credit, he was almost always there for me. He even paid for the funeral expenses. But he could not stop me from taking to the bottle, no matter how hard he tried. Eventually, he gave up on me. My own brother. His love and understanding has been replaced with scolding. I am truly alone. God damn. I have to say, this is such a com like complexly emotional quest. I can't expect Borthal to just blindly put up with everything you do, driven by grief, calls it or otherwise. If it were Borhal in my stead, I would forgive him, like a brother is supposed to do. Family is family. We are supposed to be there for each other, no matter what. I would never have deigned to challenge him to a duel. He cares more about respect, the family name, honor, everything, except for me. I'm very sorry about your wife. Thank you, but no amount of condolences will bring her back. Shit. Ba ba Wanna die? Uh. I have made my choice. If I. Fuck. Okay, okay, so I'm not gonna be able to convince him. Like, I feel, I feel really sorry for him at the same time, like, I don't blame Borhal. Because, like, if your your brother is just making the same stupid decisions over and over, and, like, the fact that he sold his mother's urn, like, he's a drunkard, an alcoholic. I feel for him. Oh, fuck me. That was his name. Oh. Let's go talk to him. At that house. Hello, Borhan. This is Dorley too. Oh. This would be the great sir. Yo, Borhal. Oh. Need nice. help with anything? Fucking lot of knives, my guy. Starting here. Well, please have my condolences on the death of your mother. He was a great woman, model citizen, and general benefactor, as you know well. Benevolent even in death. A parting, she has a left a parting gift for you, her firstborn. I do worry how your death will affect Amila. It is unfair. But it falls to you to look after him now, discipline him, and keep him out of trouble. Your mother and father were hard on him out of necessity. They did what they did out of love in hopes to turn him into a worthy heir. Sadly, it seemed to not succeed. Well, unfortunately, Amila can't be trusted with your parents' wealth, and your mother has left all of her belongings to you. Honestly, this may be a shock and that Amila may inevitably resent this decision, but as a wise one, do let Amila manipulate you into relinquishing any of this. And their father adamant that this is your money and yours alone. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fuck it. We're all... What is it? I need to prepare. Why are you killing your brother? You should call off the duel. You'll end up regetting it. I will do no such thing. And will feel no regrets in avenging Amila's constant disorders. I have given him every chance, every credit. I have begged him to turn himself around. But instead, it has been endless years of dishonor and pain. Damn him. I should have known years ago that this would be the only way things would end. 
one way or another. You knew it would end like this. Why didn't you intervene? Do you think I wanted this to happen? I tried to stop this downward spiral countless times. It was like saving someone from drowning, only for them to leap back into the ocean. Amila refuses to be helped, and he is determined to take me and the family name down with him. Alice, but fuck the family name. You I can understand, but what would it take for you to call off the duel? There is nothing that could lead me to calling it off. An apology from Amila is worthless. He always, always falls right back into his old ways. There is no apology grand enough to make up for nearly trading your late mother's remains to fund an addiction. That is inconceivable. Isn't it against the rules for you not to accept an apology? It would be. If Amila weren't a habitual liar, deceiver, and cheater. As I said before, an apology from him is less than worthless. He has apologized countless times for a decade, only to continue stabbing me in the back. Want to ask you some personal questions? No, you are not my second. I do not see how this is pertinent to your duties. Uh, show some respect and <laughs> show some respect and answer the questions. Show a modicum of respect and answer the questions. Yes, my apologies. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> just Forgive here, my ignorance. I, I will answer any questions you have. He's just like, don't make me punch you. Would you be happy if Amila died? No, great serpent, no. I will take no pleasure in his death. However, I may admittedly feel relief. I will mourn the loss of my brother. The brother he used to be, at least. And I will pray that his restless soul finds comfort with the great serpent. What have you done to support Amila through his hardships? I have done everything, and he has left me with nothing. He comes begging for money, so I gave it to him. Then he comes begging for my items to pawn, so I sacrifice them. And then he comes screaming to me that I hate him, that I have done nothing to help him. All of this for a decade now. I would lay by his side every night praying that he would not choke on his own vomit. But in the mornings when I would throw away his bottles of goza, he would fight me like a monster. I used to take such pride in giving to the community and in using my privileged position to help the less fortunate in the city. But I can no longer do that, as Amila has taken nearly every cent from me. I have sacrificed my entire purpose for living in the hopes that Amila would get better. And he never does. Mila feels that you have given up on him after the loss of his wife. Grot shit! I was by his side for years afterwards supporting him. I was saddened by her passing. And I cannot imagine what Amila went through during that time. But how many years am I expected to take care of him? To smack the bottles from his hand? To pay the bail when he was caught stealing? I have done more for him in ten years than he has ever done for me in our lifetimes. In your mind, what caused the rift between you two? The Koza ruined him. Once he began living at the bottom of a bottle, everything changed. I am just exhausted by him. Try to get some of this it is exhausting to constantly be blamed by him for all of his problems while always being expected to forgive and help him when he demands. What was your relationship with Amila like before his addiction? We were never the closest of brothers, as our personalities are just so different. But we were close enough. <laughs> he was a free spirit, which irked my parents. Honestly, I respected him a lot, 
He was unbreakable, even though the world was not always kind to him. He was funny, kind, and he always was trying to cheer me up, even if I had nothing to be sad about. <sighs> the Emila you know now is not my brother. My brother may as well have died years ago. The Emila walking around today is nothing like what he used to be. You mentioned Colza. What is that? An alcohol made from growth milk. Amila is absolutely dependent on it. And his wife was too. God. The damn stuff rots your brain, I swear. He has always been a troublemaker. But once the Koza took over, he went from bad to worse. Now he is just an addict. And a thief. I will be putting him out of his misery. Do you hate your brother? I do not hate him. I do not love him either. And I can no longer tolerate him. I am sure Amila will spin a tale about his hard life. But the truth is that he has always been a miscreant and a troublemaker. But when father moved to strike him, who dove in front of the blows? When mother would not feed him, who sacrificed their food? It was me. It was always me. How does he repay me? He steals my valuables, slanders my name, and brings dishonor on the family. Any affection I had for my brother is long dead. You see, this guy is saying that like his brother says he has a hard life, but he didn't. But then this in the next sentence says he was beaten by his father and starved by his mother and then he's like you know all oh, the family name like the family name that fucking wouldn't feed your brother and beat the crap out of him fuck the family name one way or another you think he has a chance to beat you not at all i have served my time in the military amila's condition made him unfit for service he may put up a good fight, but I will surely be the victor. Ah, oh, shit. One way or another, you won't have to worry about him soon. Right. I take no pleasure in this. But after today, what he did, he needs to be dealt with. If that is all, you may take your leave. Danica, we got a problem. A very big problem. What if I like, what if I get, what if, what if, oh, what if we fail? Yo, Danica, we got a problem. They're hell-bent on killing each other. Much to do. How did you fare? Um, neither. These brothers are both stubborn and insane. As predicted, they have been blinded by scorn for one another. But... You may still have a chance to halt any bloodshed. Listen to me very carefully. Your final duty as a second is to prepare the ceremonial drinks that the duelists will imbibe prior to the duel. As you are preparing the drinks, you will treat each cup with this tranquilizer. Borhol and Emila will be too weak to fight after drinking this. This duel is idiotic, we both know it. It is a needless loss of life during a crisis where there is already so much death. And the victor will rue his actions for the remainder of his life. You have one final chance to stop this. You are placing both of their lives into our hands. This responsibility is not fair. What is unfair about saving two lives? Be sure it's safe to use. I theoretically oh, for should shit. be safe. Theoretically. Uh... That would be tantamount to murder. That's fair. Tradition decrees that the second of the challenged prepares the ceremonial drinks. I, as the challenger's second, will lead the duelist in a final prayer. We must follow tradition closely so as to not arouse suspicion if borhol is wary of us 
he will remove us as seconds and simply hire others. And the bloodshed will move forward unchallenged. Alright. Alright, but I only get paid if one of them dies. Unbelievable. He would prefer to lie. Well, I was asking a question. Bloodshed. Never mind that. I will ensure you receive some form of compensation. I will see what I can do. All right. Very good. Report to me when you are finished. May the great serpent aid us. All right. I'm going to save here because knowing my look, all right. Tranquilize both. Aha. Andre, you thirsty. <laughs> Oh god. Up did they go? I did it. Yo, the the trap Amila has shamed us for the final time. I get how are you handling everything? I did the tranquilizing. I really just want to be left alone. Is everything ready? I did the the ceremonial drinks have been prepared about this i uh i am sure if everything is ready then it is time to move forward the time has come amila are you sufficiently prepared i am ready it is time <sighs> nothing we can do now but observe and hope for the best all right, observe the duel. That's kind of cool. Did they pull away? No. This is kind of cool. This is really cool. Did we thank the greats or we just... Drink up! Don't stand in the fucking way! To your health, brother. And may the great serpent have mercy on your soul, Amiga. Gonna both die. this what have you done to me amila i am affected as well dear brother mm. i i did not do this i can hardly see you in front of me oi uh, what the hell is this what did you do what is this uh, sabotage this duel was an asinine idea, Borhal. We put a stop to it. There is no use for needless bloodshed at times like these. We must come together, not kill one another. You traitorous. You betray me, and then you lecture me. Oh, enough of your grousing, Borhal. Your precious duel can wait. Or are you truly so determined to kill me? Enough of your taunting. This is not over. I am counting on that. Remove yourselves. We must rest. But know that you have only delayed the inevitable. Annika, why do I feel like we fucked it? I was kind of hoping there was like an option to convince them. Oh, dying pot. Thank the great serpent. You did it. The tranquilizer worked and you saved them both. Thank you for trusting me. This wasn't the happy ending I was expecting. Nonsense. You've made the right choice. Their egos are bruised, but deep down, they are both relieved. Come what may, we have narrowly avoided a bloodbath today. 
If they are stupid enough to try again, we will find another way to stop it. But I doubt that they will come. I'm glad your plan worked. How do we know they won't just do each other again? I have faith that the Great Serpent will open their hearts to each other. He will show them that the pain from the Tranquilizer would be dwarfed by humiliation and guilt, had the duel ended in bloodshed. I'm glad your plan worked. Me too. I want to thank you. You trusted me and because of you, the brothers, my friends, are both alive. They are imbeciles, but better people than they seem. I am grateful for you. Please take this. It is admittedly not much compared to what you would have received if one of them had perished, but... Can you truly put a price on a human life? You are free to go. May the Great Serpent be with you. Always. Ah, oh, it is a good day, yes? Oh, nice.